Hello everyone, and welcome back to the second episode of Kerbal Space Program. This episode, we continue on with the journeys of Jebediah and Valentina Kerbin, hopefully exploring the new possibilities that space exploration has bestowed upon us. Yes, after Jeb's apparent death, we decided to launch our next pilot, Valentina, into the skies to try and see what she can accomplish. Now, I know that it kind of seems a little bit futile to be sending up uh, rockets in kind of a manner where we don't exactly know if they're going to work, especially since the rocket is exactly the same. However, we assumed that Jebediah's error was more of a, uh, of a piloting thing than an actual design flaw with the craft. So on this basis, we launched Valentina into the sky and assume that she can come down and be just fine. There's only one way to figure out what happens, and let's go back to old me. Situation. All right, stay upright. Stay upright. Bleed velocity, no. Oh, good lord. All right. Valentina, this is up to you now. This is up to you. You. Uh, this is up to you. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. 500 meg. Parachute. No, Valentina. After the death of Valentina, we decided that it's best to try and revise the rocket and create an addition that isn't quite so explosive. However, we have trouble trying to find a new pilot who will take on this task. Pilot, we need a new pilot. Welcome, Lodbart. Welcome. Let's not kill you this time. Yeah, lost to missing. Uh, they're dead. They're like 100% dead. Lodbart straps himself into the chair and tells himself that he is one of the best pilots in the Kerbal Space Program. However, little does he know that his fate could be left with quite some uncertainty. He's flying an experimental new rocket, which uh, the previous designs of which killed their previous pilots. Jebediah and Valentina were both highly regarded and highly skilled pilots in the Kerbal Space Program. However, both of their bodies remain obliterated on the surface of the planet. It was a little bit scary to be sending up this craft with Lodbart in it, considering that I had uh, actually killed the previous two pilots, and the cost of hiring uh, new people was getting a little bit insane. It was uh, getting to the point where I almost was going to have to start making uh, Bill or Bob begin to fly, even though they're just basically scientists. But there's only one way to find out what awesome thing happens here, and that's to go back to old me. Let's uh, begin to slow ourselves down as much as we possibly can. All right, well, that wasn't that much, but we did try and slow ourselves down. You can't say I didn't try, okay? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, Lodbart. We're saving you this time. You won't die. You won't die. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die on me. No, oh, the parachute can't take it. Okay. I think it's uh, back to the drawing board at this point. Um... We've killed far too many Kerbals uh, for this program to exceed uh, within expectations. <sighs> wow, this has been a very disappointing run with a consistent murder of Kerbals. This time around, we upgrade our rocket to include two new side parachutes, which we hope will allow our pilot to safely survive. We didn't know exactly what the strength of these parachutes would be in comparison to the one that we had been using, but there was uh, quite some significant hope that it would improve the odds of survival. However, on this mission, it did turn out that we didn't do our launch procedure exactly correct, and we didn't even uh, get up into space. However, uh, we were able to collect some uh, atmospheric data from high up in the atmosphere, which will allow us to unlock some new things, get some new stuff, which will hopefully save future pilots. But uh, Theogas is, is left with a little bit of a conundrum here. He's a little bit lower, and he's thinking in his mind that he's going to survive. But judging by that the last three pilots have all died, the track record with the Kerbal Space Program is going quite poorly. This is unsafe. All right, so when that says safe... We'll activate the parachutes, impossible. All right, come on, bleed off that velocity, bleed off that velocity, bleed off that velocity. Bleed her off, bleed her off, bleed her off, bleed her off. Bleed her off, we, ha we have to deploy, we have to, oh my good lord. Well then, our space program is operating uh, with uh, the best uh, 
with the best of things. We've now killed yet another pilot. At this point, we are left with no other possibility besides to put more solid rocket boosters aboard the craft to try and get its velocity a little bit higher into space. Last time, we didn't go nearly as high, but we still had the problem of the space uh, vehicle failing upon return. So we also had to figure out a new solution of how we can get the spacecraft back to the ground without killing the pilot. So we decided in the end that we should just add more fuel boosters and basically a new system uh, for heat shielding uh, that would allow us to basically control our horizontal velocity. In practice, I figured that using this design would allow us to bleed off a lot of the velocity that we were uh, losing coming down vertically horizontally. So we're not losing altitude quite as fast, but we are uh, losing speed almost as quickly. Corny Kerman, a brave, stupid astronaut, decided that he could shed new light upon the space phenomena of no pilot being able to return. Some pilots couldn't even make it back only from the atmosphere. But he looked at the new design of the spacecraft and assumed that the Kerbal engineers had really come up with something extremely brilliant this time. Something out of this world. Alright, 800 meters per second. Starting to get a little bit of atmospheric uh, re-entry heating going on. Okay, uh, let's start uh, utilizing the fact that we have an engine uh, strapped to the back end of this thing. And try and slow ourselves down a great lot before we lose control completely. All right, 800 meters per second, 700 and dropping. All right, 600 meters per second and dropping. All right, 500 and dropping, 400 and dropping, 300, dropping, 200. Okay, we're out of fuel. Detach, detach, detach. All right, it is risky to deploy, but we can deploy. We have deployed parachutes. Parachutes deployed. Liquid fuel is dropping to the ground. Corny Kerman is alive. I repeat, Corny Kerman is alive. Yes, my friends, his life has been spared this time as long as we can get him to the ground. We used none of the ablator, but that was pretty much to be expected. Our parachutes are fully deployed. We're at 1,000 meters from the surface and dropping. A final success for the Kerbal Space Program, which has uh, epically failed in its last four voyages, killing the pilots Jebediah Kerman, uh, Valentina Kerman, uh, Theogas Kerman. Uh, I think there was one more we actually killed. I don't remember his name. <laughs> We've killed so many, I've started to forget their names. I'm feeling really bad right now. Uh, oh my, oh my. But yes, we will have touchdown. We will cover our first scientific data. We will have success. I am so proud of this space program for being the most capable it possibly can be at the moment. All right, in three, two, one. Corny Kerman has landed. Yes, he has, with his scientific data, with his crew report, and with his science. Yes, he has. A beautiful journey. Let's recover the vessel. There will be science just for getting into space and recovering a vessel. So many Kerbals have died to bring us this information. And we have 40 science! Yes, we can get to where we need to be. Alright, our next task will be getting into orbit. And so, the space program continues on for another day, planning to orbit Kerbin in such a manner that has never been done before. The lives of Valentina, Jebediah, Lodbart, and Theogas will never be forgotten by the Kerbal community. However, their names are embedded in stone at the Kerbal Space Center. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time.